The Charter School Association, they'd like to see a statewide authorizer. You know, what do you think about that idea now that we've you know, yeah. been I, under a year of the Charter School reform? Yeah, I, I think for now, I'm comfortable with the way we have it. We, have a, we just had a case where the state board overruled the local school board. So people who say, well, that will never happen, it, it actually has happened in one case. I, I, for one, would not be for changing the, the governance model for how we authorize uh, charter schools at this point. Now, if five years from now, if there's still a whole lot of districts that have never approved a charter school, even though there have been great applications, then I think maybe you reevaluate, I say five, maybe two years, three years. But I don't think now, I think now we're too early in the game. We've just seen a case where um, the appeal process did work. I would hate to, I, I don't think it's time to, to do something different. Doesn't that fly in the face of your philosophy that local government is always the best government? I mean, the school board is representative and elected by the people in Nashville, right? Well, I think it is. Remember, there, you have a unique situation here because you have both state and local money funding uh, schools. And uh, I think, uh, you know, because of that, it's easy for uh, the, uh, you know, you might have a school board who just looks at it from their point of view. Obviously, the state would have a bigger role.